Hi, this is Mary Flower. I'm going to do step four of putting the pages in our book, our colorful, whimsical book. Let me put this right here so we can work on this. Okay, we've chosen the cover, and I showed you how to put the cover together. And now we're going to work on the uh, pages and how to cut them. And there's not really a right or wrong to this. Here's my pages, and as I showed you before, some of them I did some jelly plate printing on them, like so. And some of them I left in plain colors. And I like the way they've turned out. They're very vibrant and very pretty. And these are really large. They are um, the Canson 140 pound 12 by 18. So they're, they're pretty large. And if you watch the other videos, you'll see that. So I, I have these. I've already used some. And you're going to use a combination of both the plain and the ones that you've printed on with jelly plate printing. Now, um, in here, I showed you how to put the book together like so. And um, you want to kind of keep this close to you because you're going to kind of be referring to them. Now, when you cut your pages, you can cut them... You have enough paper to cut them either this pull, I mean, fold them this way, and you can fold them this way and uh, make a cut here. And I'll show you how to do that and even have fold down pages on that. I'll show you in just a minute. But there is no right or wrong on this. You just start cutting the very interesting things. Um, I have, and I will show you how I do these. I'll do one at a time. I've taken kind of a scrap piece, and I like to have the smaller pieces in front, so it kind of gives you uh, that nice uh, look there where you, it gives it depth. And so start with the, you know, don't start with the smaller. You can cut them any way you want, but there's no right or wrong. I want to show you some of the pages. I just cut a little spot out of here. And this was folding the paper this way. So I, as you can see, and don't worry about color being on both sides because you'll add that as you go. I cut one like so. And I wanted some... Um, things to stand up above. So um, as you're cutting, kind of think of things uh, hanging out or standing up above and to the side. Now I don't like to put it on the bottom because I like these to stand up. So I cut one in red that just had some funny figures up here which will um, and it's to to the left, and then you'll want to cut things so they stand up to the middle, and things to stand up to this side, and things that uh, will you can see over here when you put it in the book. Now, one I even folded it a at, at an angle, and you can if you want, you can round the corners. I chose to keep the front piece. Uh, rounded here and when you do it at an angle this will be seen at one place and this will be seen in another so if you put it in the book like so then I cut one like that so that it'll um, um, kind of stand up here now I'm going to show you how to put these together because when you're you know putting in these signatures in they're kind of going to slide around because some pieces are smaller and I'll show you how to uh, put them to one another here in a minute so and then I have this one now this first signature I've made so that it um, is a little bit it's not so high everywhere. This the the second ones will give more depth to it. Now, because I do not want this one to slosh around, I'm what I'm going to do 
is um, take my needle. Now, I really like this. Um, oh, it's not a thread. It's kind of a waxed thread. It's actually for leather, but it's very, very tough. And I really like it. I'm using a smaller needle than the one. I have a kit that you can buy. And it has a very large, for, just for doing this type of work. It has scissors. It has a nice little punch on it. And when I punch the holes, I use a nice piece of foam. And it has some other tools. In that, but I mostly use the scissors, the large needle, and the punch. But for this one, because I'm making sure that I'm securing just a couple pages together, I want to use a smaller needle. So I'm going to. And you, you, you want to do it on the back here because then you won't see it because you're going to tie this and you won't really see this. So all I want to do is put smaller pieces here only to keep these together so they don't, you know, slide around as you're working. It's just to hold it in place. And then because these are all different, I'm probably going to uh, put a couple more together. Probably um, these here because... I want this one to be about, you have to kind of work with it and kind of look at it as you go. I want this to extend a little bit right there and this one here. So what I'm going to do is just tie just these couple pieces together. So that when you're um, binding them, into the book, uh, they'll they'll already be held here. So let me put that back there. Because I usually use clips to hold them in place, but these are all, you know, at different angles and uh, so forth. So you just want to sew enough on these just to hold a few pages together. And then the big pages, you can... Um, they'll all, you know, just, it'll be easier. So I tie these together. It probably doesn't make sense what I'm doing here, but just keep watching here. So what it did was it held those few papers together. And then you can, and then they're just easier to bind all together when you're putting it in here. Then the bigger ones will hold it a little better. So that's the first signature to the front. Then my second signature, I started, and I did sort of this organic look here. I cut it out. Now on this one, let me show you on here. I uh, This is where you can fold the paper this way, the long ways. And so what I did was I fold it and then made notches and so it did a fold down thing. So that would be the second page in there. And then the next two sort of go together. I made this round piece uh, with my round jelly plate and I really liked it by itself and I wanted it to stand out, but I wanted this piece to just sort of accentuate this ball like that, see that? And so I'm going to sew those two pieces together really quick so it will stay in the spot that I want it to be. So start from the outside here. Hold on to one of them. I hope I'm not making this too difficult to see what's going on here. And then, oops. Let's 
So basically you're just tying the two pieces together here. That way it'll keep it in the spot I want it to be when I'm putting the, the whole signature in. I probably should have cut that a little longer, but it'll hold it. And that's all I want is for it to hold it. So I have that piece and that one will go inside of this one. This one could even go on the outside here, but they're both green. And so I like to look at my colors and, um, you know, make them so they vary both in whether they're printed on or whether they're plain and the different colors. So the next one, I've done a lot of jelly printing on these. I decided to go with a blue and that kind of sticks up there a little bit. And then I have a printed pink one and this one is going to start um, so that if you see when I put them together, they're not all, they don't all come up in the same spot. Now, just play with your papers. The next paper is a green and, and you'll just come up with it. There's no right or wrong on this. And, um, just play with them and just have them stick out different ways and fold them different ways and have them folding down different ways. So I have like this. Now you're going to always add more things to the sides and um, so it won't matter. And then my last page I have, now I like this because I added this little tail like so. And as you can see, I've added another little tail. Now here's another spot where I'm going to have to take these pieces. Otherwise, this will be coming down the bottom. So I have one more piece of thread here. And I'm going to hold this one in place as well. I hope this makes sense to everyone. I hope I can... Okay, and have it come back up here, and then I can be done with this needle. And I'm going to tie that in place because I don't want that pe this piece especially slipping down when I'm putting the signatures in. That way it just holds it in place. And then my last one, I folded, no, I folded this one from the bottom and folded it here. And this is folded in the long way. The others are folded. That way I can cut out the bottom and fold it up and put it in here. Then on this one, it kind of leans to the right, which I wanted that to do because then your pieces aren't sticking out all in the same places. So if you look at the look at it, you'll see some to the left, some to the middle, and just you just sort of have to play with each piece and what looks good to you. And then the next thing I want to do. Well, I paused it for a minute and I was going to go get some ink, but we can do the ink on the edges even after it's put into the book. Sometimes it's easier to do before, but I think it'll work afterwards as well. So now the next thing we're going to do is just look at it, see all those colors just everywhere. Now we're going to put it so that it goes in here and if you look there it's going to be a lot of fun so what i want to do is first take my template here 
and I'm going to take my little clip right here and I'm going to punch my holes. So I like to use this sponge. This is a kind of a sponge that comes in oh packaging sometime, but this is thicker. I think this came out of a like a, a music um piece you know I held a, a flute or something and it's pretty stiff and, and you just can't destroy it which is really what you want when you're when you're punching these holes so I use it and set this on top of it like so and I punch my holes here You have to just kind of guess where it is there. And this punch, this tool works really good. You can get it at Walmart. It is for actually for binding. And you can get it in the sewing area. I mean, it might be for something else, but it works really, really good for this. So, there I have punched my holes. Then I'm going to use this same... Um, you can't even really see it, but you can feel it. So, I'll set that aside, and I'm going to do one of these at a time. So, what I'm going to do is try to figure approximately where I want this to fit in. So I'm going to do one of them at a time. So see how I'm just kind of guessing, but it's probably, you don't want things to hang out the bottom. So you uh, have to be careful. You mostly want it to hang out the top. So you can see I have this closer to the top there. So what I'm going to do, so I can clip a little bit of this. Let's see. Clip it in the area <laughs> that probably makes the most sense. So you can keep most of it together. So there's pretty good, yeah. And I want this one in the front. So I'm going to take it uh, and start at this side. Okay, so I hope we can do this. And you're going to want to start in the middle with this right here let's see i've got to punch it first let's see so. okay let me get my glasses on for this little project because I have to see this and I'm going to sit down and see if I can uh, try to keep it in this area so you can see what's going on. Okay. I'm going to bring it through. And I love this really strong needle that comes with this kit for doing this. Okay. You just have to feel this. Okay. Then you're going to come back through and it, 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 this is, you have to pull on this because it has, uh, it's sort of waxy. So then I'm going to go through this area again 
back through the middle hole. And through the same spot. And then I'm going to find the next hole and I'm going to have to just feel it right there. Come through. Okay, then when you get back to the middle, you want to make sure all of the pieces, all of the uh, strings are tight. Make sure this has been pulled straight. And then, okay, and what I do is I tie it by going underneath here and tying it and then tying it again and this will be covered anyway so you know you can so there is the first signature as you can see and it's not quite as high as I would have liked to have, it, have been on there, but it will it'll be okay. It'll it'll still work. Okay. Now this is the one that doesn't stick out quite as much as the rest. The others will stick out a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause this and see if I can get these in here, and then we'll look at it when we're finished. Okay, I paused it so I could uh, tie this in and because I didn't want to bore you with all my struggling. And uh, then now it's all in. And it is a lot of fun colors to look at. And we're going to play with these colors and uh, do a lot of extra things to it, add things, ink it, do a lot of fun things with it. And uh, I hope that you got enough out of that. We will also be making pieces to go in here after we work with some of these others because we still have a lot of work to do on the pages themselves. And you can add in places, like I'm going to add a tail here and there. I thought this little tail was really cute. And since it's about um, cats, I thought it would be fun to put in some tails that would fold out like so and in a two or three different places and I will also be doing maybe some of these funny ears here and there so this is not the finished uh, book uh, you know the other one I've worked on it a lot longer but it gives you an idea of how you can put colors together now like I said these pages there's there's no one way to do it. Just start cutting and seeing what looks fun together. And um, you'll find that as time goes on here, as we work with them, they will get more. They'll pop more and more because we're going to add more color. We're going to add a lot more things to them. So what you want is three signatures. And if you look down in here, I'll do the light over a little bit, three signatures, to make it so it's not very big to begin with because you're going to add some more things to it. So um, anyway, that is your next step. Um, I hope that will be helpful to you. And uh, I'll get back to you for step, let's see, I think this was step four, and we'll get back with you when we have to do the next step. You guys give me a thumbs up and give me a comment. I love comments. I try to get back with you and uh, have a nice evening. I did this really late so grandchildren won't drive me crazy. I even have my pajamas on and so, you know, I thought, oh well, it's okay. So anyway, there you go.